Why European and American trucks are so different American and European semi-trucks are very different. In America, you see all the trucks with a long nose and wheelbase with the cabin behind the engine, whereas trucks in Europe are cab-over trucks where the cabin is above the engine. But why are they so different and what are the advantages and disadvantages? Let's take a look at it. Livable One of the reasons why the American trucks have bigger cabs is that owner-operators are very common in the US and not so much in Europe. These people own their trucks and pretty much live in them for months at a time. Because they spend so much time and some have to live in the cabin, these cabins are quite a bit larger and have more features in the cabin, such as a fridge, microwave, freezer, wardrobe, large bed, windows, and some even have their own toilet. Owners modify their trucks to include huge living compartments, something not so common in Europe. It is, of course, also possible to spend several days in a truck with a cab over, but the comfort is just not nearly as high. Long, wide roads Much of an American truck's life is spent on the interstate system, where the lanes are wide and the roads are straight. For that reason, the long wheelbase of the truck is acceptable and typically makes the ride much more comfortable. Considering they are allowed to drive up to 12 hours every 24 hours, whereas European truckers can only drive 9 hours, that extra comfort is important. European semi-trucks are lighter and have shorter wheelbases, which makes them significantly easier to maneuver. Essentially, they are more compact and easier to work with in traffic and urban environments, which is perfect for the narrow roads in Europe. Also, the cab over has a better overview and less blind spots which increase safety noticeably, where the larger bonnets and A-pillars on the American trucks make it difficult for drivers to get a clear view of traffic. Strict regulations Stricter regulations in Europe make for different trucks. For starters, a European semi-truck can only be 18.75 meters or about 61 feet. Some countries have some exceptions, but generally that is the rule. Because of these restrictions, European trucks have to be as short as possible so they can tow more cargo. Considering American cabs can be 20 feet long, that only leaves 40 feet of room for cargo. So, in order to make more room for cargo, the cab has to be as short as possible. Similar requirements in the US have been revoked back in 1986, and trucks now can be much longer. Actually, back in the day, cab over trucks were quite popular in the US, but without strict limitations, roomier and more convenient to live with conventional design trucks prevailed. Speed and aerodynamics. A big difference between the European semi-trucks and American ones is that in Europe, the speed is limited to 90 km per hour, but in some places in the US, trucks are allowed to reach 129 and even 137 km per hour. It is on the long straight roads, at high speed, the better aerodynamics and longer wheelbase is a clear advantage for the long-nosed trucks, which are created for the long trips. Conclusion So, the reason why there is such a big difference between trucks in Europe compared to America is that they are used in different ways. There are different rules that must be observed, both in terms of speed, driving time, lengths, weight, etc. And that there is a big difference between roads and the infrastructure. So, one is not necessarily better than the other, but they are adapted to the needs of truck owners, the driver, and the government requirements. Which is your favorite? Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for much more!